everybody, I'm Natalie Horton. And I'm Todd Weatherill. And welcome to another fun episode of Get, Get Out. Out. So how are you doing? I'm doing great, but you look awesome today. Oh, thanks. I think it's just because I'm wearing clothes. Oh, what in the world is this? <laughs> I know, I got engaged this week. She got engaged, no way. Yes. Who's the unlucky guy? <laughs> That's mean. <laughs> You're jealous. I'm not jealous. <laughs> I know, I'm just kidding. Ah, whatever. What are we doing today? Well, today we're doing a lot of fun things. First stop, though, we're going to try this fairly new restaurant on Main Street that is getting rave reviews, and I'm so excited to try it. Well, let's go. If you want a place that has that cafe feel for breakfast and lunch, but then turns into a hip, chic dining experience, I found the perfect place here on Main Street. It's called La Grande Orange, also known as LGO. So let's go. Bob Lynn, the owner of the now I'm soon to be famous La Grande Orange. So you yep. guys have a lot going on here. Tell me a little bit about your place. We do. La Grande Orange, it's kind of an extension to your home. And we open at 6.30 in the morning. Wow. We serve until 11 during the week and midnight on the weekends. During the morning and the lunch, you order at the counter. It's just like church. You sit wherever you want. I love it. And we run you your food. At night, we turn into a real restaurant with waiters and waitresses and bartenders. Between 5 and 7 o'clock, we serve children for free wow. under 7 years old. Um, and uh, it's another thing we can try to do for the community. My wife and I live in Santa Monica on 18th Street. Oh, and um, so we're really thrilled to be here. Wonderful. And what are some of your specialty dishes here? Well, the recipe that probably gets the most attention recently because it was published in the LA Times is our Brussels sprout salad. Yeah, yeah. I bet you guys do it well. And speaking of that, am I going to get to uh, help in the kitchen and yeah, make Absolutely. I think we're going to make a Brussels sprout salad. Okay. Roll a little bit of sushi. Nice. Maybe it make a tuna taco. Oh my gosh, sounds bad. I love my job. All right, Bob, let's go. You got it. We want to lightly toss the salad. You just kind of want to go from the bottom up, just so you kind of just lightly toss everything. Just a couple little grates over it. So it's nice, it's thin, it kind so of folds fresh. into the salad. Yeah, it's a great salad. Is that all enough the time. or more? Yeah, hey, a couple more. Couple Everybody more. loves cheese. Everyone loves cheese, right? Well, let's lay two, two layers of salmon over the top. Just this way or nope, this way? Long ways. Long ways, okay. Feel like a pro already. Yeah, just like that. So you go so, oh, I love this. You guys better watch out. <laughs> I can't believe they're letting me do this all by myself. They have fresh homemade tortillas here. I mean, look at this. So good. Christian, my tortillas are ready whenever you need them. Oh, uh, finishing it already? Oh, yeah. Should be done with this in 30 seconds. Awesome. Mm. So last but not least, our tuna tacos. Oh, wow. And some of our house-made tortillas. Yes, and I think these tortillas look pretty nice, don't you guys? Very well done. I did them. Thank you. Thanks, Christian. This has been so fun. Thank you. I can't wait to dig in. Great. Have a great day. Thank you, too. All right. Look at this, you guys. I have to try, of course, first, the famous Brussels sprout salad that everyone's been talking about. Oh, my gosh. That is good. It's so fresh, and the dressing is amazing. And it doesn't really even taste like Brussels sprouts. If you don't like them, you guys will love this. This has been so much fun. I know you guys are going to want to come down here. There is something for everybody. Such great variety. So if you want to come down, they are located at 2000 Main Street in Santa Monica. Or you can find them on the web at lagrandorangesm.com. All right, I'm going to continue eating. I mean, I have Mexican sushi, salads. Can life get better? I don't think so. Do you see anything in these hands? No. I'm Always go into the restaurant, never bring anything back for the old Toddster. <laughs> Sorry, the food was so good, I couldn't leave you it. Not even a tiny little morsel? No, it was oh. right in my belly. How am I gonna survive a workout now? I think you'll manage. Yeah, I'm gonna go visit Angela Parker. She's gonna put me through the ringer. Let me tell you, I have a Santa Monica boot camp right here. Yeah, Body Inspire Fitness, she is killer. Hey, and welcome to Clover Park. Rumor has it, there's a boot camp going on, and Angela Parker's gonna take us through it. Let's go check it out. Hey, I'm standing here with Angela Parker with Body Inspired Fitness. She also runs a group, SantaMonicaBootCamp.com. We're out here with a bunch of people today. Tell us about the program. Uh, it's all women. Uh, outside, which is the key, get you guys out of the gym. Cardio, strength training, Pilates, agility, core work. 
pretty much don't miss anything. The group's amazing, great trainers. What do you learn if you come out here to work out? Uh, the best part about coming out to work out is that you're in a great environment. The women are super supportive. Uh, it's a good change too. Every day there's something different, which is nice. The gym can get super boring, go to the same classes. But since every day there's a different trainer, we have different things to do. It's a nice way to really shake it up. Now, can anybody do this? Uh, yes. uh, any style, any, yes. uh, as, as yes. bad a shape you're in, yes. as good a shape yes. you're in? Yes, yes, that's the point, is that no matter how old you are, what kind of shape you're in, as long as you're committed to showing up and doing the best job you can, it's a place for you. That's awesome. So I'm gonna get a workout today. Uh, show us what we're gonna do. Nice, very nice, ready? Tabitha is going to put her hands on the mat and push herself up to high plank where she's going to hold it. Come down to low plank. Come on up to high plank and low plank. Up for high. Six, be sure to really pull your shoulders back on your body. Give yourself the smallest tummy you can. Two more. Two. And one. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, one more, ten. Very nice. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, go! Five, nicely done. Six, five, in, four, in, three, in, two, in, and one. Man, <laughs> that's quite it. a workout. <laughs> Man, Angela put us through it, but if it doesn't matter what size, shape, age, or uh, what your background is in terms of fitness, this is for everybody. Absolutely. This is awesome. Let's make sure we go to the website at SantaMonicaBootCamp.com and uh, make sure you go check those guys out. If you're anywhere in the Southern California area and you want to get in shape, make sure you look Angela up. Look, one workout, not bad. Not bad, you look great. They do call it boot camp. That's true, Angela kicks butt. Do you know they're actually offering it for men and women now? That is wonderful. I thought so, so pretty cool. Welcome. Love it. I kind of liked it all as ladies, but that's okay. What well, are we doing next? You would. Well, I'm actually going to the Santa Monica Pier. Shocking, Ooh, huh? We've been there a hundred times. What's the deal? Well, I found a hidden gem there, and you're just going to have to wait and see. Hmm. Sounds fishy. Did you know there's an aquarium at the Santa Monica Pier? And for only two bucks, I can see some of the coolest marine life around. I'm going to take my own private tour, and I think you should come with me. Alright, I am here with Vicki, the director of the aquarium. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. Good. Well, I have to say I'm a little bit surprised too. I know a lot of people don't know this aquarium is even here and it exists, right? I know. It is crazy. We have a lot of people in Santa Monica who I say, oh, we have an aquarium in Santa Monica. Yeah. And they're like, what? I never even knew it existed. So we kind of like to call ourselves a little jewel underneath the pier. But the thing that makes us really unique is that everything is from the Santa Monica Bay. So everything that we have here is stuff that you literally will see if you go swimming, snorkeling, <gasps> scuba diving right out here in the Santa Monica Bay. So we're wow. extremely local, which is great. Um, we have things, sharks, fish, invertebrates like sea stars and sea urchins. And we just have a new sea jelly or what some people call jellyfish. Exhibit. Oh, it's, so, so it's called a sea jelly. Sea jelly. Oh, yes. see, I always said jellyfish. I know. Who knew? Mm -hmm. Very neat. Well, I can't wait any longer. I, okay. Will you take me around and show me some of the cool tanks? Sure, of course. Right. Well, why Let's don't we start go. right over here at the kelp forest? Perfect. So this is the kelp forest, right? The kelp forest exhibit. So all of our exhibits here pretty much are based on habitat. So this is what you would see if you were snorkeling out in the kelp forest. Well, this is our rocky reef exhibit, so these are all the animals that you would find in the rocky reef habitat here in the Santa Monica Bay. And I think the stars of the show in this tank are our California moray eels. These wow. big, long eels. They grow to be about six feet long. Oh, my um, god! A lot of fun. Ooh, the shark tank. Kind of scary. I know. People are scared of sharks, but I have to tell you, these sharks don't grow really much bigger than three and a half feet. Okay. And most sharks are small sharks, we just don't make big movies about them. So these are our touch tanks. This is really the heart of the aquarium because you can touch everything in here with two fingers very gently. I you can touch it. this one. Nope, not at all. This is called a knobby star. 
knobby star. Some people call him a jewel star because it kind of looks like he's got jewels all over his back. Yeah, he does. He Isn't looks that beautiful? like, oh my gosh, that feels so cool. Okay, I don't want to leave here. I could do this all day, I but know I know <laughs> people are going to want to come down here. So where are you guys located? We are located beach level at the pier underneath the carousel. And for more information about special events, our open hours, and what's going on, you can check our website, which is www.healthebay.org. And when you get to the homepage, look for the aquarium logo and find out all, in, all the information about us. Perfect. All right, bring the family, bring the kids. It's so much fun. And I think I saw a really cool purple sea star that I have to go check out. That's With it. or without you. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Can't touch this. Can't touch this. So how was the aquarium? It was so much fun. I got to hang with sea jellies and sea stars. It's awesome. Sea jellies and sea stars. Not putting it on toast. My mom told me that they are called starfish and jellyfish. No, Todd, it's different now. No, you no, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. You're arguing with yourself. It takes two to tango. Ugh. One half block north of Lincoln and Santa Monica, there's a little nook and cranny you're going to have to check out. In here, you can learn the language of love. That's right, tango. We're going to go in and see if I can trade in these two left feet for some style. We're joined right now by Isabella, who's actually in charge of Isabella's Dance Academy here in Santa Monica. And you can take a plethora of classes here. What do you offer? <laughs> we started it all with salsa. It was the salsa kingdom here for 10 years. And then we added on uh, tango. And then little by little, um, because of partnering dancing, I was introduced to pole dancing myself as a form of fitness. And then pole dancing, nice. Now there's a misnomer that uh, most of the time it's women that take these classes, but you have men also, yes? Uh, as a matter of fact, I tend to attract more men in this day. I wonder why, I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> this place is hot, this is gonna be fun. So what are we gonna do today? Today we're doing that little tango, because it's Friday, and Fridays we do salsa and tango here, and then we have a social party. So today I teach tango, and Ricky, my partner, teaches salsa with Kelly. And, uh, and we divide the levels for salsa. Well, I'm excited. Do you think we can get this thing started? Yes. Let's go for it. Everybody else brought a partner. I have none. Where's my partner? Partners, everything. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what are you yeah. saying? We're doing the best we can. She wants to lead. Fine. Hey, what can I say? I'll follow. I'm, I'm that the type boss. of guy. <laughs> <laughs> you want to look these guys up? You can do it online, isabelsalsa.com, or you can come down to 1334 Lincoln Boulevard. This is something you got to try. I told you it took two to tango. I know, I know, yeah. you're right. I'm always right. Well, I don't know about that. Oh, come on now. But I do know that we are out of time, so thank you guys so much for joining us for another fun episode of Get, Get Out! Out.